Okay, thank you all done for inviting me here in this lesson for today in order to exhaust what I have to my learners. But before proceeding, let me thank God who provides energy for me in order to exhaust what I have to my learners. But uh, for today, we are proceeding with our lesson of chemistry, in particular in the topic which you call it organic chemistry. Uh, particularly, our, our objective for today will concentrate on uh, on how to name uh, alkanes. So we will much concentrate on the role of naming alkanes. But uh, welcome my learners from Uganda, welcome my learners from Kenya, welcome my learners from Tanzania, welcome my learners around the world who follow my lessons. But uh, th uh, thank you my learners for participating in face to face, in this lesson face to face. So uh, you are welcome. So uh, proceed, uh, keep, in so keep in touch with me in order to understand, uh, to understand what you are required to, to understand. I think if you follow me or you keep in touch with me, you will, you will not regret it to, uh, to, uh, to follow this lesson. So let us begin to see how it is. So uh, uh, before proceeding in the naming of alkanes, you are supposed to know the members of alkanes or members of hydrocarbons in which you can deal with it. So for today, we are going we are going much concentrating on, on naming organic compound, particularly in the uh, particular in the in the alkanes as a member of alphatic hydrocarbons. So let us begin for today or member of organic chemistry. Uh, so uh, members, to, we are supposed to recall the members in order to know uh, how we can. Name the, the organic chains. Uh, so uh, the first member we call it the, the, the root of first member we call it meth. The, the second root of members we call it eth. Uh, but also the third member we call it prop. The fourth member we call it bolt. The uh, but also the fifth member we call it penty. The sixth member we call it hex. A seventh member we call it hepty. Or uh, eight members of organic chemists we call it octy as well as. Uh, the nine, uh, ninth members of organic uh, member of organic chemistry, uh, organic of, uh, uh, ninth member of organic compound, we call it none. But also uh, the root name of the, the, the member number ten of organic uh, organic chemistry, organic compounds, we call it dec. Mean that if it is the if it is alkali, the first member is, is methane, uh, second member is ethane, uh, propane, uh, butane, uh, pentane, hexane. Uh, Octane, octane, uh, nonane, as well as the can. If it's the member of organic compound, which is taking, uh, which account for ten, uh, for ten carbons. So uh, let us dig in uh, in the rules of naming of organic com of organic compounds, particularly in alkane. One among the rule number one of naming uh, rule number one of naming organic compound particulars alkanes is that. Uh, you have uh, rules of naming organic organic compounds, yeah. particular alkanes. So we much concentrate on alkanes. The rule number one here: find the longest continuous carbon chain, or find the or find or find the parent chain of organic compounds. We are supposed to know the longest continuous carbon, or we are supposed to know the the parent chain of uh, organic compounds have been given to name it. So uh, also also rule number two: we are supposed to name the longest continuous carbon chain. Mean that after knowing how many number of carbons there you are supposed to know which member here uh, reveal in the longest in your longest carbon chains but also you are supposed to identify you are supposed uh, the, ne the next rules identify the substituent or attached group of roots to the parent chain mean that you are supposed to know the attached group uh, or substituent group which attach to the longest carbon chains so you're supposed to know that the, the groups which attach into the longest continuous carbon chain but also uh, after knowing that, after, knowing, uh, after identifying that, after identifying that, uh, uh, that attached group or a substituent group which attached into the continuous, uh, longest continuous carbon chain, you are supposed to name the substituent group. You are supposed to identify the names. Either, for example, if it is chlorine, you are supposed to know that it is chloro. If it is bromine, you are supposed to know that it is bromo. But also, if it is method, you are supposed, if it is, uh, 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 if it is method group you can do so 
But we say you're supposed to name the chain consecutively. You're supposed to, to name the chain consecutive by starting to the end and uh, but to start to the end and the nearest to the subsistence group. Mean that here we are supposed if we are supposed to name the chain, the longest carbon chains of organic compound by considering the space where you can uh, when you can where, by considering the space where when we start to account we can reach near the attached group than other than other uh, places of the longest continuous couple chain. But also we have uh, we are supposed to designate the position or location of the substituted group. So we also we are supposed to, uh, to designate uh, the position or location or substituent group or attached group uh, uh, by appropriate its number and name it alphabetically. So we are supposed to name uh, to name it alphabetical but we are supposed to to, to show the numbers in which carbon or oh, what number of carbon in which attach that the uh, the, uh, the substituent group. The name of the, the, the rule number seven show that the name of the compound must be end up with a suffix and must be end up with a suffix and and the, the reason behind that uh, we are we are dealing with the, with the we are dealing with the naming of alkane. That's why the uh, the members must be end up with the parent chain must be end up with a suffix. And so up here, let us see. Uh, let, let, let us for us to see an example on how to name that organic compound in order for us to be very careful to, to be uh, to exhaust uh, uh, something which is very will be very important for us in order to deal with the uh, organic compound, particularly when you have been given to name about uh, to name about the uh, alkanes. But uh, for what uh, for what uh, I'm going to do, so we are going to start with the uh, branch D uh, alkanes, then we will follow the branch D alkanes. So let us begin to see how it is. And branch uh, now we are going to deal with the with the and branch the onum alcanes. Onum al alcanes. Example number one, let us see example example number one. Let's see. Uh, let us see before before doing that. Let us see how to open the structure. We have a condensed open structure. Let us open structure so as for you to see how it is. So here we have carbon, carbon, carbon. He, this carbon will be uh, this carbon. Here we have a carbon, carbon, carbon. This carbon will be uh, surrounded by the hydrogen with hydrogen uh, with the hydrogen bonds. With the hydrogen will be surrounded with hydrogen bonds with the hydrogen bonds with the hydrogen bonds with the hydrogen bonds with the hydrogen bonds so these hydrocarbons do not have an attached group so if there is a touch if, if there is a touchy group the attached group will replace the amount of the hydrogens here so that is uh, that is how it is so this is a uh, this is a uh, an branch or alkanes with no attached group uh, so let us see he uh, and branch but also is, uh, has no attached group so let us see the example number one so you have example uh, example so let us see see here example example number one let us see so we have c h3 c h2 c h3 so let us see here so let let us see here on how to name so uh, uh, in order to name this one mean that this is the endocarbons which contain uh, which contain uh, three uh, three carbon atoms in which on other hand you can write like this one that can be the same of this endocarbons mean that here there is in the number of carbon here there is number of carbon here there is a number of carbons so how three, three carbon uh, the rest carbons surrounded by uh, surrounded by by hydrogen surrounded by hydrogen surrounded by hydrogen but also the uh, carbon here surrounded by hydrogen surrounded by hydrogen and hydrogen so this 
this in the same as here so let us see here more uh, let us concentrate more in this in this in this part in order for you to understand to understand very well as as this uh, being uh, surrounded by androgens so let us dig in more in this one so this you have couple number one couple number two number three due to the fact that the, if there if there is no attached group we can select any position to deal with it so here have carbon number three but we, we turn back to the carbon number three here will be prop if it is a prop so the, this compound in name will become propane will become propane it can be, it can be propane due to the fact that it containing three uh, carbon atoms if it's propane you can name uh, because this is a normal propane don't surprise when it's written n uh, and propane any pro Pan mean that normal mean that the normal propane. If we not in this one, it can be a name be also one uh, propane. One propane. Not only that one propane, but also can be named as pro one and it can be named like this. Both these are allowed the uh, IUPAC name. Both these are IUPAC name which can be can be allowed to name that in organic compounds. So after here, let us see another example, which is will be example number two on how to name organic uh, compound, particularly in the uh, in the different members in which we can uh, we can use as example uh, to, to to learn more about the organic compound. But here, uh, then example number two, let us see. Here example number two to see here CH3 CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3 CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3 CH2 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 
One, two, three, four. So this the the, 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 the first one is the, is the longest carbon chain. After knowing the longest carbon chains, we are supposed to know how to name that the longest carbon chains. But here we have attached the group. We have attached the group which we call it sometimes substituent group, which in which this is substituent group or attached group here we call it we call it methyl. So here attached group we have we have methyl. We have methyl as attached group. But it's a longest chain containing one, two, three. So number of carbon one, two, three, four, five. Why we are naming like this one? We are naming like this one because any position when you are counting, you will become a county. If, uh, we, uh, so uh, why we are naming like this one? We are naming like this one because when uh, whenever you move in any position, the attached group will become at the middle of the carbon atoms. So that is the, the longest chain of carbon atoms. So are the same when you start from this one position or from this one or, or from this position. So CH3 uh, or methyl is our attached is our attached group or substituent group. So let the, but our parent chain here which contains five carbon atom is paint. So it is paint. So let us uh, see how to name. But one, two, three, one, two, three. So it will become three methyl. It become three methyl. So if it become three methyl, this is this is designated. This is a designated uh, names and this is a designated numbers. So when you are naming, let us see it. So it will, be, it will become three methyl, become three methyl pentane, methyl pen, pentane. Or this can be named as three methyl, methyl pent one ane because it alkane. Together, so it, that, that can be a uh, can be like that one. So, this is the correct iPad name on how uh, to learn that organic compound. And this, uh, and this was example number four. This was example, example, example number four. Let us dig in example number five. So, example. Example number five. Let us see uh, the example number five. Example number five, we uh, have a uh, CH3, uh, but also CL at the lower parts, but we have a uh, CH2, CH2, uh, CH3, CH3, but also you have CH3. Uh, uh, due to this fact uh, here we have uh, one uh, let us let us start to account in order to see how we, uh, we can deal with it so here we have uh, carbon one two three one two three this is the, is, is, is a position but this position is not a, is a exactly position or correct position because the longest carbon chain will be this so one two three four one two three four five this is five carbon atoms but here we have attached the group this one and this one so we have here we have two attached group we have this attached group but also we have this attached group which is this attached group is chlorine if it's chlorine it will become chlorine so here attached group we have in the carbon number uh, when you are counting when you are when you are just accounting the position where we can reach near the, the, the attached group or substituent group we are supposed to start from here so one two three four five so when you are counting this attached group are located in this in the position of the second carbon so we, we have two chloro not only two chloro, but also we have two methyl. We have two methyl. So our attached group here, we have two attached group. One, but different attached group. Two different attached group. Methyl and chloro. But alphabetical, considering about the alphabetical between C and M, what is supposed to start is C. So we we'll start with the chloro in M. So here, uh, but also our parent chain here is painting. Our parent chain is what? Is painting. And which is one, two, three, four, five, pentane. So it is pent. So let us see here how to name. So to name here, it will become two chloro, three methyl, pentane. So it will become two chloro, three methyl, pentane. 
Number that's number one on how to name. Number two, we can name like this one. Two, chloro. Three, methyl. Three, methyl. Penty. One, ane. Penty one, ane. So we can name like this one. So that is how to name that organic compounds in which that that, that organic compounds uh, can be named like this. So this so this is how to name that organic compound, particularly in alkane, as a branched alkane. Let us see another example uh, uh, of alkanes on how, uh, how we can name it. So let us see in the example number six. Let us see in the example number six. We come example number six here. Let us see how it is. So example number six here, we can have a example number six here, we can have a carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can, we can have carbon one uh, CH3, uh, CH2, CH2, CH, uh, in which this CH contains CH3, but also contains CH3. So the, this H will be, be removed. But here you can have CH2, CH2, uh, CH2, CH2, uh, C, um, C with a uh, bromine and a chlorine here upstairs. Then that C proceed with the CH3. So have uh, have how many number of carbon? One, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be very important. Uh, this will be very good uh, an example on how to name which is uh, the stuff in which we will help us. So here the first things we are supposed to know that uh, how many substituent group we have we have a substituent group number one, substituent group, substituent group number two, but you also have substituent group number three, but also we have substituent group number four. So we have four substituent groups. So this substituent group will help us to name. So let us see that substituent group how it is. We have uh, in carbon, uh, so let us see the carbon here is very simple to see, uh, which is very simple nearly to, 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 to uh, let us see the position where we, where, where, when we started to account, it's very simple to, to, to reach the attached group. One, two. One, two, three. So we are supposed to start from this position. So our carbon will become, will become carbon number one. Will become carbon, uh, carbon number one. Here will become carbon number two. Here will become carbon number three. Here carbon number four. Here carbon number five. Here carbon number six. Here carbon number number seven. This number of carbons, uh, this number which you've been written here, will be helpful for you for us to allocate the designated attached group. And which in this attached group here we have. So here we have uh, alphabetical, we have bromo and chloro. So bromo and chloro, we are supposed to start with the bromo. So we have, here we have, uh, here we have bromo. <coughs> we have a group which is the bromo, not only bromo, but also we have attached group uh, which is C, which is the chloro. Also we have chloro. But both this, where it's found, this found in carbon number two. This is found in carbon number two. This found in carbon number two. But later on, we have three. We have two methyl. Uh, and that two methyl, we have carbon number five. We have five methyl. But also we have five methyl. Mean that you have uh, me, uh, two methyl in carbon number five. After now, that is, it will be helpful or it will become very simple for us on how to name these compounds. So uh, we uh, alpha, when you arrange the alphabetical, we are supposed to start with the brom. So let uh, let us see how it is. So we are starting. We have two bromo, two chloro. Five meth, uh, five comma five dimethyl, five comma five dimethyl. We have carbon number seven. The seven become heptane, uh, so it become it become heptane. Become hep. That is how to name this uh, that compound. If it's not this one, you can name it like this one: two bromo, two chloro, five comma five dimethyl, 
dye methyl hepti one ane. So also this is the IPAC name on how to name this organic compound. So up to here, this uh, this is how the name of organic compound, particularly in the name of can of uh, can are their roles of naming that. So up to here, let me uh, say uh, thanks for those who have been listening to uh, this lesson. I think uh, uh, is, is, it will become helpful for you. And I think everyone he or she understood what we are, we are, we are talking about in this in this lessons. But uh, thank you, my learners from Uganda. Thank you, my learners from Tanzania. Thank you, my learners from Kenya as well. I thank you my learners around the world who followed this lesson but uh, thank you my learners who participated in the face to face in these lessons. Uh, uh, let me say uh, welcome again. Uh, don't uh, uh, yes, uh, we advise you to follow the next lessons. Don't, don't plan to miss the next lesson because we have been, uh, we are going to prepare good, good things for you uh, in particular in the, in the aspect of science so you are warmly welcome uh, uh, up to here let me say bye bye Okay, thank you well done for inviting me here today in order to proceed with, uh, with our lesson of chemistry particularly the topic which is called the organic chemistry but before proceeding, let me provide a uh, thanks to God who and uh, provide energy for me in order to exist here for the purpose of exhausting what I have to my learners. But also thanks my learners from Uganda, thank you my learners from Tanzania, thank you my learners from Kenya as well, thank you my learners from uh, around the world as well. Also, thank you my learners who participate in my classes uh, by face to face and, uh, and those who participate in video. So you are warmly welcome. You can dig, uh, we, we, are go, we are going to dig in something which is very, very important for you and you'll enjoy it if you feel difficulty to do that something. So uh, today we are much concentrate on the uh, how to name of alkenes. So today we are concentrating in the IPAC naming of alkenes. So today we are much concentrating on the naming of alkenes. So let's see. This is organic chemistry. Organic, organic, organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. So today we are digging in the name of alkenes. Name of alkenes. In the name of alkenes here, we uh, we are doing a, something which is very very important for us as what you've been done in my previous lesson of naming of alkanes. So today we are naming of al, uh, alkanes. To name alkanes, the rules are the same as what you've been explained in the naming of alkanes. So uh, the first things you are supposed to find out the longest continuous chain, you are support, uh, the first things you are supposed to find out the, the longest continuous chain of carbon, uh, carbon chain or sometimes quality, you are supposed to find out the con longest continuous uh, carbon chain or in this carbon chain we call it the parent chain so we are supposed to find the first things we are supposed to find out the what are the longest continuous carbon chain so find out the long uh, the parent chain find out number one find uh, the longest the longest find out the longest continuous carbon carbon chain or something called the parent chain called parenting and uh, parent chain so we are supposed to find out the parent chain that's the principle number one after knowing the parent chain name the longest continuous chain name the longest continuous name name the longest the longest continuous chain 
or parent chain or parent or parent chain but this parent chain you were supposed to know that if it is in, in alkan if it is in, if it is in, and if if it is in, uh, if it's branchly alkenes if is branchly branchly alkenes alkenes if it's branchly alkenes double bond double bonds or called pi bonds considered as a, a, is taken as a parent chain is taken as a parent chain parent chain on the other hand you can say that in our case the double bond must be included in the parent chain but also uh, uh, rule number three identify the groups of sub or substitute group attached to the parent chain so number three you are supposed to identify identify groups or attachment or substituent or substituent substituent groups substituent groups attached to the parent chain to the parent to the parent chain you're supposed to know that to identify the attached group into the parent chain so uh, after knowing the, the, the attached group to the parent chain you are supposed the rule number four you are supposed to uh, to name that group c attached to the parent chain so number four rule number four we say name the group c the groups the group c or substituent or substituent group c or substituent groups attached to the parent chain attached to the parent chain to the parent to the parent chain you're supposed to name it rule number five rule number five uh, you are supposed uh, to name the, the chain consecutive you are supposed to name the chain consecutive by starting at the end of the nearest to the double bonds and starting in the substituent group it's named according to its priority so name the chain consecutively name the chain the chain or parent chain or parent chain consecutively consecutively by starting by starting uh, by starting at the end of the analyst by starting starting at the end of the nearest of the nearest of the nearest end of the nearest of the nearest uh, of the nearest to the double bonds to the to the double bond to the double to the double bond here to the double bond so you're supposed to find out where double bond is nearest so we are starting at that at that area and the substituent group according to its priority and the substituent in the substitute substituent or attach the group substitute or attach the group according to its according to its priority priority because uh, some groups have its own priority so let us proceed with rule number six to see how it is rule number six need to designate the locations number six say so that designating Designate, uh, designate, uh, 
designate the location of each subsidiary. The, the location, the location of each substituent sub t20 designating the location of each subsistence means that the position where subsistence is broken uh, found or attached by uh, the appropriate number by by the appropriate 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 great number and name alphabetical and name and name alphabetical alphabetical and then it's alphabetical or alphabetically the say is supposed to name it alphabetical or name it alphabetical in order to know the uh, the, the position of the group so also a uh, name the compound must be ended up with the suffix n so rule number 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 uh, this is the rule number number six is not number four rule number six number seven we say that uh, the name the name the compound must be the name the the name the compound must be and with suffixing Suffixing, suffixing, and the reason behind that, the reason behind is that uh, we are naming alkanes, not alkane or alkynes. That's why uh, the the suffix must be ending up with the uh, with the uh, with the n. So we are supposed to be very careful in naming. But here, let us see the example number one in order to see how we can name very easily. For this, we uh, have CH3, CH2, CH3, CH2, that's organic compounds, CH, CH2, CH, CH2. When you see like this one, this indicates that here there is that one. So this is the same at right CH3, CH2, C, carbon with double bond C, with uh, two hydrogen, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and a single hydrogen here. So these things are that there is a double bond there. If there is a double bond there, if, if there is a double bond there, we are supposed to be very careful because what you are talking about, what you are concentrating in this double bond, what you are concentrating in this double bond. And that double bond is very important for us. This double bond is very important for us. That's why we are concentrated in that, in that area. So, if that double bond is very important for us, let us see how to name. We are supposed to, to uh, we are supposed to, to, to write the, the to, 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 to read for by using the numbers. But that numbers must depend on where, when we start to account, can reach nearest double bonds. So, when we start here, we are starting from here, one, two, three, four. So, this, uh, this chain contains four carbon atoms. If it contains four carbon atoms, here we are turned back in our members of our kinase, in name of our kinase. We are revealing that it starts with the, uh, with, the, with the root boot. So, the, our compound will become butane. So, here this will become uh, will become butane. Bo, uh, to become uh, it in its name, this will become butane. Become butane. Butane. Can name like that one. Number one. Not only this can be written one butane. Or can be written but one. N. Both these are name, or it can be written as N butene. N butene. Both these are co both these are IPAC name, which can be allowed or which can be used to name that organic compound. So, so this is the example number one. This is example, example, example number one. Let's see another example.
you see in the next example here uh, we have uh, we have ch3 we have ch3 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 of ch3 ch then uh, double bond ch double bond ch ch3 uh, so we have ch3 ch uh, ch 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 here we're supposed to know that uh, there is a double bond here. If it's written here, mean that there is a double bond here. So uh, uh, you are we are supposed to know that here we are required to uh, we are required to number in order to to simplify way of naming. So here we can now by using uh, where we can reach the substituted group nearly, or we can reach double bond. So we can start from one second carbon, third carbon fourth carbon fifth carbon so we have four five carbon here we have cup to five carbon here where double bond is formed double bond is formed in the second carbon double bond is formed in the second in the second carbon if it's formed in the second carbon the position of the allocation of double bond it become in the carbon number two so if it's naming is looking like page two n so it, it can be naming here you pick name page two n you can name like this one but also you can name two pen ten pen ten so uh, uh, this can be named like that one. So the end up with the suffix n due to the fact that uh, this is a uh, 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 we are naming a kennel. So up to here, uh, let us pass through the, uh, another example because this was the example number two. Example, example, example number two. Let us pass through the next example in order to see how it is. So let us uh, proceed with ex another example, which is example number three. We're going to the example number number three. No, the, uh, yes, we're going into the example number three. Which example number three? C H C H C H C H C H three. So C H here we have C H three C H that here there is a uh, attached group which is written CH3 but also it proceed with CH uh, CH CH with the double bond CH but also uh, CH3 CH3 this compound it indicate that uh, it indicate that uh, here there is a double bond it tell us that here there is a there is a double bond in this carbon atom here. In case there is a double bond. Not only double bond, but also here we have attached group here. In which this attached group, we call it methyl. So it is tell us that you have methyl as attached group. So here we have uh, carbon. Uh, uh, to reach the nearest carbon atoms here, we are supposed to know that where double bond is easily to be reached. We are supposed to know that where its double bond is is simple or nearly to be reached. So when you compare here, uh, when you compare here, we have a when we compare here, we have a we are called a we have attached group. But this uh, this attached group where it's found, we are supposed to start where we can reach the attached group to account nearly. Not to attach the group here we are, we are, we are, the period come to the double bonds so we have carbon number one have carbon number two have carbon number three uh, have carbon number four we have carbon number five if you have carbon number five uh, uh, we have a couple uh, until you to reach the carbon number five when you consider very much carefully here the double bonds it found in that side
So when you, when you, uh, when you look when you look very carefully, when you look very carefully, you can identify that double bond fold in this area. Double bond fold in this area. Because here I do a single drawing is found upstairs. Uh, uh, double uh, another bond come to this one, another another, another bond come to, to carbon. So the car the carbon to carbon which contain double bonds is found in this area. Found it, it found it in this area. The found in this area. So the area which contain double bonds is this area and not otherwise. So we have this area which contain this double bond, but you also have area which contain this uh, this attached group. So when you are counting, we are supposed to consider double bond also. So we are starting to count the one carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four, carbon number five. To have carbon number uh, to have five carbon means that we are talking about paint. Then so the longest chain here, the parent chain we are talking about the paint. Together. But also attached the group here in the carbon number four. We have four methyl. We have four methyl, which found in the carbon number four is methyl. So how to name this one? But a double bond for but double bond it found in the in the second carbon. So how to name it? We are supposed to, to know that we, uh, we are supposed to know that uh, bond found in the carbon number two. So it twenty two found in the carbon number two. So uh, for methyl paint two n this one amount of the of the IUPAC name which allowed it to name in these areas. Not only, but also we can name uh, we can name uh, a four methyl methyl two pentene pentene. They got this uh, IUPAC name which allowed it to name that organic compounds. So we can name by using that one. So up to here, let us proceed in the another example or next example which can be helpful for us in order to, to name the organic compound, particularly in alkenes. So uh, let us proceed to see how it is. So let us proceed with the example. Uh, this was the example number, example, example number three let us look example example number four to see how it is example number four so example number four here we have see here we have one two three four five six seven and so we have uh, this we have double bond uh, double bonds uh, this h2 then we have CH, CH, uh, CH, uh, but also CH, uh, one, two, three, four, carbon number four, one, two, three, CH, and carbon number four, we have uh, CH3 upstairs, but also in the downstairs, um, one, two, three, four, five, carbon number five. CH here have we have C two H five C two H five then we have CH two CH two then is CH three that is a uh, that is how it is so here we have a double bond at last so you are supposed to be very careful uh, so carbon which contain double bond is this carbon here so we are supposed to concentrate here to allocate the double bond so the double bond can be allocated at that area apart from that we're going to be allocated at that area we have a uh, attached group here but also we have attached group here this attached group are very important for us in naming this attached group are very important in name so we are going to use this in name in terms of name but uh, by considering the double bonds here we have this double bond so we are supposed to start to account in the position where we can reach near attached group but in particular the priority here we are starting where we can account there we can we can we can account the the, the, the double bonds 
So we are supposed to account from here to account, to account the number of carbons that carbon number one is only this, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four, carbon number five, carbon number six, carbon number seven. So here we have uh, seven carbons. So here, uh, so here we have seven carbons. If you have seven carbons here, we are supposed to know that to know that seven carbons we call it 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 hept. Call it hept. When you recall in my previous lesson, when I'm starting to learn alkanes, I may explain that how the the, 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 the the ten members of organic compound in terms of naming they, they are. So uh, here we have carbon uh, carbon number three. Carbon number three we have methyl. We have methyl, methyl group. But also carbon number five, carbon number five we have we have ethyl. We have ethyl, we have ethyl group. But our parent chain here is hepti, is heptene, is heptene. But uh, the number of bonds found in carbon number one is found in carbon number if only in carbon number one so how to name it let us see how it is so here we have a three method but in terms of, of alphabetical we're supposed to start with e instead of uh, uh, starting with math so of naming Ooh. so uh Carbon number four, we have methyl, we have methyl group. Carbon number five, uh, we have ethyl group. We have ethyl group. We have ethyl group, but our uh, parent is is uh, is pair is pent. It's hepty. Our uh, it is hepty. It's hepty. If parent chain is a ten, let us see how it is. So in terms of naming, we are supposed to uh, start with the attached group. But this attached group, we are supposed to name alphabetical. And when I talk about naming alphabetical here, we have E and M. So we are supposed to start with E uh, before reaching M. So here, they become, uh, in terms of uh, naming, we have five methyl, not five uh, So in terms of naming, they become five, Ethyl, five ethyl, uh, five ethyl, uh, four methyl, four methyl, paint, four methyl, hepti, one. N. That's it. is how to name. That's number one. But also can name on, on another hands. Can name five ethyl, four methyl, two, uh, not two, one, one, have ten. So this is the uh, amount of the I pack names on how to name. So this both, both these two are allowed. So you can name uh, like that one. So up here, let uh, let me proceed in the example example number five to see how it is. See example number five. Example number five here uh, we have uh, CH three CH CH three CH which is CH have C two H five which is ethyl. My two so have C H two C H two C H C H two and C H uh, C3 with C3 H7, but also we have C H C H with the double bond C H C H3 C H3. So we are supposed to come to where you can reach nearest uh, nearest double bonds. 
Uh, so we are supposed to be very carefully when we are considering that. So we have a. Uh, so here we have a, a number of carbons here, but that number of carbons here which we have, we are uh, we, uh, the number of carbon to name here. We are considering that uh, we are starting from one carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four carbon number five, carbon number six, and carbon number seven. If we are doing that, but here we have a touchy group which formed here. We have a touchy group which, uh, which around here, we have a touchy group which showing here, and which also have a touchy group here, which is very, very important for us in terms of naming organic compounds. We, are, we, are, we have a touchy group here, which is very, very important in naming organic compounds. So, here we are supposed to know that we have a, a carbon number four, we have propyl. Carbon number four, we have a propyl group. So, we have four propyl. Propyl. Why quality propyl? It has three carbon atoms. But carbon number six, we have ethyl. You have ethyl group. We have ethyl. Uh, ethyl group. But our parent chain contains seven, uh, so contain carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it contain six, uh, seven carbon, mean that this is heptene. So our parent here is heptene. Hep, heptene. If it's heptene, let us see how, let us see how to name it. So if we, we, we deal with it, so here we have E and P. We are supposed to, to start with it. We are supposed to start with P. Where we, we P, we have E and P. So we are supposed to start in the naming with it. With e. So here is 6 in terms of naming 6 ethyl, 6 ethyl, is 6 ethyl. Four propyl propyl then a hepti 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 two n or okay name six ethyl six ethyl four propyl propyl to have ten what is allowed to be uh, in naming of organic compounds by using the principle of name of uh, organic compound i think everyone he or she have understood what we are doing in the name organic compound in particular in name of alkenes uh, so in name of alkene if you, if if my learners or if beginners uh, of the of name of organic compound if they will follow step by step what has been done it will be very very uh, very simple for him or her to name the organic compound to name any kind of organic compound particularly by using a uh, principle of name of alkenes. So up to here let me say thank you my learners from Uganda, thank you my learners from Kenya, thank you my learners from Tanzania as well as my learners around the world who participate in this uh, in this in this uh, lesson of naming alkanes but uh, my, my my energy uh, is the principle behind god so uh, also i wish to uh, to say thanks uh, god who helped me to proceed with this, this lesson from the starting uh, or from the beginning up to the end what we are uh, why we are up here up here let me say bye bye enjoy chemistry enjoy organic chemistry see you later